If you've clicked on this video, you already know the power of no code and how it's allowing everyone, despite their technical abilities, to build online software. However, it can be very difficult to come up with an idea for your own startup. And even if you do have an idea, you might not know the exact tools to build that idea or if it's even possible to do so with no code. So that's why in this video, I want to share with you six original no code startup ideas and the exact tools you can use to build them. All of these ideas I have come up on my own, so there is no other YouTube channel blog posts or whatever where you would have heard them before the purpose of this video is to get your creative juices flowing to help you come up with your own idea see exactly what's possible in no code but i'm quite certain some of these ideas if well executed can make somebody a lot of dough so let's get into it So guys, idea number one is Fight Club, which is like OnlyFans, but for fighters. And before you click away, let me explain myself. So over the last five or six years, I've been training Muay Thai on and off, and I met a lot of fighters throughout that time. But a lot of these fighters, despite having a lot of audience, don't know how to monetize it. And the one thing that all the fight fans crave for is to be able to interact with their favorite fighters. So the idea for this app is to basically connect the fighters directly to their audience, where their fans can pay a subscription fee to be able to interact with fighter one on one, get personal programs, maybe like do live streams where they can train along each other. This would provide income for the fighters and it will provide the fans with the unique opportunity to interact with their favorite fighters. The way you would monetize this idea would be to take a commission fee from every recurring subscriber that the creator gets. Now guys, as I mentioned before, these are all my ideas. None of these are validated. Go out, test the market first and see if there's any demand for this. However, if you wanted to build this idea, the tools you would use are DraftBit, Flutterflow, or Adalo. Now, we could make this a web app, but I think it would work much better as a mobile app. And DraftBit and Flutterflow are great tools to build mobile apps. They actually also allow you to build a responsive web app, so you can make a responsive web version as well as a mobile version. And the cool thing about DraftBit and Flutterflow is that you can publish native apps, meaning that there'll be an App Store and Android Store. Or you could use Adalo for the MVP stage. It's a little bit of a simpler tool, so you could just build very basic functionality, see if there's demand, and if the demand is there, switch to DraftBit or Flutterflow. The second idea is Vidscape. The idea is to build a platform where YouTubers can synchronize all of their channel analytics in one place. Now this idea came up because I actually worked with a lot of YouTube channels and it can be quite tedious like when I log in in the morning to see the performance of them. I have to log into each account and then go to analytics and see how they perform. And so far I haven't been able to find any quick plug and play solution where I can just log in with all of the accounts and see all the data in one place. And as we all know like AI content and automated YouTube is, is growing quite a lot then many people like having as many as 10 to 20 different channels that they manage so a lot of these people would love a tool where you could log in and then see all your analytics in one place so they can see the best performing videos to see exactly how much revenue they're making like per day from each channel and things of this nature the tools you can use to build this will be bubble WeWeb, and retool bubble and WeWeb are great web app builders while retool is mostly a tool used for like building dashboards and databases retool will probably be the easiest option while WeWeb and Bubble will allow you to build more complex functionality and make it like a full-on web app. The way you would monetize this idea is by having a subscription fee. Now, because this is a highly specialized tool and it's already for successful channel owners, you could actually have quite an expensive fee. Now onto idea number three, which is Condenser. The idea is to create a tool where users can design their own newsfeed. A newsfeed that is connected to all of their favorite social networks, as well as newsletters and RSS feeds. I don't know about you guys, but when I go on YouTube and I try to search for specific information oftentimes i get carried away because i see all this like different clickbait thumbnails that i have to click on and i have to watch this videos or sometimes i want to go on twitter and just to see trending things in my niche and always get carried away so it'd be amazing if there was a tool where you can log in all of your social media accounts and then have this like news feed curated specifically the way you designed it so you'd see like maybe trending youtube videos in specific niches all of the trending tweets in specific niches and then you'd see the posts only from the creators that you'd subscribe to and it allows you to focus on the content that truly matters to you. The tools that you can use to build this would be Bubble, WeWeb, and Backendless. These are all full-stack web app builders. The way you would monetize this idea would be A, having your own newsletter, B, having a freemium version where people can only connect a few things, and then premium version where people can connect as much as they want to have deeper functionality, and C, you can also monetize it through advertisers. So the freemium model maybe could have a few ads as well. Now guys, idea number four. This is my favorite one, and I really wish it already existed. This 
idea would be to build an online physio platform. So you would basically have an interface where you can click on the exact muscle that has the pain. They can explain it in a little bit more. Then they will get this test that they can carry out maybe there's somebody at home to be able to like diagnose the problem that they have. Obviously, it's not the same as having a physio in person, but this would allow people to be able to start some kind of treatment at home because the platform could also provide videos that will show you how to treat that issue. There's like different exercises and stretches that you can do. Now, I honestly think there's crazy demand for this because we all know people are spending insane hours behind their computers. Every day, there's more and more people with neck pains, back pains, wrist pains, and much more. Now, the, the way you could build this would be Bubble or WeWeb if you want to have a web app or if you want to have a mobile app you could use draftbit or flutterflow the choice is yours but the way you would monetize this would be a recommending specific physios in the location that the user is in and then getting commission from that or maybe charging the physios to be listed on the website in the first place b selling different products so when somebody has a specific issue maybe there's a physio cream that they can buy that will relax their muscles or there is a massage gun or something else that they can buy you would be able to advertise those products on the website and either make a commission from it or if you have your own product obviously make the profit there you could also have a freemium structure where maybe they just get like a limited answer in the free version and if they want to get like a full solution then they have to pay and you can also partner with like the best physios and then have online consultations which you make a commission on now once again guys i'm not a physio but in my opinion this could really work now onto idea number five which is clip dealer so the idea here would be to build a marketplace for high level editors and creators where they can upload their project files or templates that they make from the videos that they edit for example after i edit this video if somebody likes my specific style i could make a template from this and then sell it in my description so people could also make a video they're the same style the reason i think this could work is because if you go on invite elements art list and any other stock or graphic template website you will see that most of the templates they have are quite outdated from the styles that are trending for example right now even godsey and danko style are trending but there's no templates that even like come close to that specific style but there are many editors that can edit in that style. So if there was a platform like this, those editors could upload their project files or specific animations in that style that the people could buy and then use them to like adjust them to their own video. Now, I think this is a little bit of a weaker idea out of all of the ones that are listed, but I think it's the easiest to build. Now, the tools that you could use to build this are Bubble, WeWeb, and ShareTribe. Bubble and WeWeb are once again web app builders that you can use to build anything. And ShareTribe is another tool I didn't mention yet, but it allows you to build a two-sided marketplace with ease. So ShareTribe would be the faster and the easier version than Bubble or WeWeb, but it's possible with all three of these options. The way you would monetize this is taking a commission fee from each sale. Uh, guys, idea number six, which I think could be a multi-million dollar business, is MentorMart. The idea is to build a curated, coach marketplace where people can hire a coach for any kind of online business needs i know a lot of online business owners that have run into plateaus and they have they want to hire a coach but they have no idea where to find a trustable one there's so many coaches out there and it's really hard to tell which ones are the snake oil salesmen and which ones actually provide value so if you can build a curated marketplace that's very very trustable then it could be a great solution for business owners to go to to hire coaches for their specific needs it could be like a marketplace where people can enter like a category or the niche that they're in and then find the coaches for that they can click and see their profile like the businesses they built how much money they've made the reviews from the platform and all the details about the coach and then they can book a session to them on the platform it would just basically make it easier for business owners and freelancers to overcome roadblocks and hire a coach for their specific needs i think it could be cool if it also had a feature where verified users could post a request so that like you could post exactly what you're stuck with what kind of business you're in a little bit more information and then the coaches could like request to help you so then you can just go for the coaches that you like and then book a session with them. Very simple. The tools you can use to build this will be Bubble, Software, and ShareTribe. Bubble, once again, one of the best web app builders. ShareTribe, as I mentioned before, great for building two-sided marketplaces and a new one, Software. Now, Software would be the easy solution because this idea is not very complicated. You could actually build out this app in Software in, in probably one or two weeks just to test it out. You have the basic features and if it works, then you take it to ShareTribe or you take it to Bubble. It's really up to you. And the way you would monetize this would be, once again, a commission fee. We're done with the ideas but if you want to learn more about the best no code tools you can click on this video and if you want to learn more about building your first no code startup then click on this video i'll see you there